Hey, good morning, everybody. Just gives a few minutes here to get set up. We will be uh, doing some live stream today. We like to do a, uh, a YouTube version of this or a YouTube broadcast uh, syndication of our member live stream once uh, every other Friday, every other Friday or so, first and last Friday. So it kind of felt right to do it for the end of the year. If you guys are watching from YouTube, please just give us a couple minutes. On screen, I've got the morning report. This is a morning report members get every day at 9.15. And I'll kind of talk about what this thing is in just a minute. Usually I have uh, music playing, but I can do that since we're broadcasting over on YouTube. I think they, they don't dig that. All right, if you guys are coming in on Zoom, Zoom chat is open. So we'll just give everybody a few minutes here to, to get piled in. I'll turn on options, Mike, for now. He's, uh, he's one of the pros that will be joining us. My internet connection is unstable. You son of a bitches. Instantly get cursing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, never curses. No, the other day my router rebooted in the middle of uh, the middle of the open. But that's hilarious. All right, SPY levels, 381.29, downside 38005, target, real strong target down there. Then we have 387, 37896, I'm sorry, 37896, 37685 to the downside on here. And um, above, I got 38225, I also got 38310, 38416. I know those are pretty rapid. I'm going to post in the options room all those levels. Right, if you want to go there. refer to them. Man, there's not a lot of folks around today. Today is the last trading day of the year. I think uh, everyone's on their sabbatical, it seems. Mm -hmm. Oh, Philip, you like my music, man? I, I'm I uh, grew up in the hood, dog. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm all about. I'll turn it off. I didn't realize you guys could hear it. Yeah, I like uh, I like rap. Yeah, I would have never that. guessed. <laughs> you know, people always say that, especially after they see me, they think I'm like one of those weird, grungy, like rock guys, and I'm totally not. The stereotypes always wrong with me. There were three white kids in my school in elementary. It was me, my brother, and my cousin. And uh, I grew up listening to like LL Cool J and uh, Run DMC and Houdini oh. and all those guys back in the day, man. Slick Rick, Ice T, good stuff. <laughs> You know, I used to have one of those um, break dancing jackets, like with all the zippers on it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Everyone thought you were white. <laughs> yeah. So I used to get in fights in one school because I was the whitest kid at the school. And then when I moved out to the country, I was the blackest kid at that school because I had all the, <laughs> the accent, the vernacular, the attitude, the, you know, everything, the clothes. I used to get roughed up all the time by white kids. It was terrible but i'm strong i'm so strong strong and i won't hesitate to throat punch somebody been in a lot of fights it's all good that's interesting if you get in a fight always throat punch them that works that's not financial advice <laughs> 
Oh my god. All right, we're going to get kicked off here. Uh we are 7 minutes to the open. Uh so I have to read the disclaimer uh for everybody. Uh so first of all, good morning everybody. It is Friday. It is December 30th. It is the last day of the trading year 2022. Uh we're going to do everything we can today to finish off strong uh, or at least not throw away everything we've been working on uh this week and this year. Uh, so first off, neither True Trader nor its representatives are registered as security broker dealer or investment advisor with the SEC or any other state regulatory authority. We're not licensed or qualified to provide investment advice. Um, for those of you who are joining us on Zoom, uh, welcome. Uh, like I was saying at early, early, some of you weren't on yet. We are uh, going to kind of broadcast this uh, this stream over to YouTube. We'd like to do that once or maybe twice a month and just kind of, you know, give the public a taste of what it is the members get. For those of you on YouTube, uh, this live stream will be exactly what members get because uh, I don't know how to give them different experiences, give you guys different experiences. So we will try to do our best uh, to keep up with things. My name is Benito. I am uh, known as True Trader Admin uh, inside the chat room. And our format is pretty straightforward as we get into uh, the 30-minute trade session that we're doing here. We will be piping in audio from two of our pros. Uh, we have uh, five pros at any given time, six. You know, uh, There's more than that in the chat room itself, but on voice, we have five pros. So we rotate two per day. Uh, and today we have Options Mike and Ricky Analog. Let me tune into Ricky real quick. Uh, heading into the morning, it's going to be meta into 119 with the gap down that puts us right in there. Um, the one thing I am concerned about is that it just ends up turning into a failed breakout from yesterday. Uh, Sunday prep, you know, laid out the meta plan, which was basically over 120, what was the price? Over 120.34 was the long trigger. Obviously, you don't have to get long at the trigger. You can always wait for better prices on pullbacks, and that could be what we're seeing. Um, so the level I'm going to be watching for a scoop is going to be off that 117 area which is going to kind of line up real nicely with the lower trend line of that flag that it was building, plus that weekly pivot. Um, <clears throat> Tesla, Tesla, I'm looking at 114. I want to scoop a flush off 114 on Tesla if we can get it. Um, and other than that, uh, those are the two things that I was going to have as my main focuses today. It's the last day of the year, guys. Um, I don't expect it to be busy. I, I mean, we haven't been busy at all this whole week uh, in terms of uh, seeing emotional moves either way. Uh, in fact, like I, you know, I track all the stuff at the end of the day, and I think I've had, uh, I think I've had one valid trade this whole week um, in the first thirty minutes, which is probably the slowest week of the whole year for me. It just is what it is, right? People wrapped up shop. For the year, we'll come back uh, in the new year fresh and ready to go. Um, and so will we. But uh, knowing that ahead of time, right? Just make sure you don't force things. Make sure you don't take these like subpar setups because you're bored or want to want to create something out of thin air, right? Because more times than not, more often than not, it turns out to be something that just causes you a headache or causes you to lose unnecessary money. And that can always spiral out of control, right? Like I, I get it. If you take one loss, where's my line? Take one loss, right? That uh, was avoidable. Um, it's not the end of the world. But if it turns into something where you try to revenge trade or dig yourself into a hole, and before you know it, you know, end of the day, you look at your PL and you're like, holy cow, what have I gotten myself into? Don't let that happen, guys. Yeah, Cook. Um, literally, like I'm. I don't have my spreadsheet up right now, but I'm almost positive that it was just one valid trade in the, the last week. And it was yesterday. It was EDU on that flush in the 31. It is what it is. All right. I am going to, I'm going to uh, mute until we open and then uh, I'll be back. All right. So that was the voice of Ricky Analog. Uh, he does all right Ricky's mute but you won't get off that lucky with old Mike um so we have a, a 
pre-market decks over here of about 300, what is it, 345 million to the upside. Uh, so there is a little bit of upside exposure. I'm expecting some of these names to retrace a bit on their overmark, uh, overnight dump. So I'm targeting in the overnight pullbacks, uh, order blocks and things of that nature. Uh, for instance, Tesla has a pretty good one at like 121.12. Uh, 121.12 is a little bit above where we're at currently. So there's a target in that. If it breaks 119.35, it won't hesitate to take it to the downside. Uh, so I'm looking at pre-market, a little bit of uh, SPX options flow. SPX, of course, as you know, you can execute options uh, a little bit in the pre-market here. So at uh, 843, 844, 907, we have put, put, call. So um, it's a little mixed, nothing real significant there. Those aren't huge dollar amounts either. So um, don't have a lot of that. Uh, Pre-market lows, uh, you do have like a head and shoulders off those pre-market lows, inverted head and shoulders with a neckline uh, in the proximity where we're currently at on a couple of names. If we pop up and grab some liquidity uh, into the pre-market uh, resistances, there would be possibly a short from slightly above where we're at right now. I am trading um, all market correlated stuff at the moment. So um, where's my other indicator? All right. Now we got about 20 seconds. So to summarize, I'm expecting a little pop out of the gate into some resistance overhead. We don't know where that resistance currently is at, uh, but we will watch for it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the scanner from our pre post market scanner to our intraday scanner. This will show us spikes. And then our pivot scanner uh, is currently set to uh, some of the settings that we talked about. Good luck, guys. Trade well. We asked one question at the end Are you disciplined? There's the open. Or were you disciplined? We are reversal traders by the way, for YouTube. So Ricky will be looking for spikes. That uh, 1167 tick to the downside right here, guys. We've got downside tick, sell programs coming in. Spy is a green candle, strangely enough. Spy 38046 is the support currently, uh, but we do have a downtrend from the pre-market. So be careful with that. Tesla 121 calls getting hit right here. $120,000. We do have uh, red momentum on the market and the UVXY is pushing to the upside. So be very cautious with longs in the moment. Looking at those pre-market resistances. Who to pushing? And there's that Tesla push to the upside. Watch for that resistance. I'm expecting there to be one some resistance at 122.11, uh, slightly above where we're currently at. China names are pushing Baba. Watch Baba in the yesterday's high of day. UVXY is rolling over, going to the downside slightly here in the second candle of the day. No defined market direction right yet. There's a slight leaning bearish flow. And there's a spy break in that support I called out, uh, that 38047 area right there. 38005 is target on spy. Baidu's pushing right in the yesterday's highs right here. I'm not taking it. It doesn't have enough extension for my target, so it's going to be a skip for me. I will put it on in the 117, 117.20 probably. And there's that resistance I was talking about, a Tesla to the penny, 122.11. Breakthrough there takes us up to about 122.87. Ricky likes, use, Ricky likes to use VWAP as his target. That's what he's talking about. So wasn't even a percent away from that. Cool. 
All right. Spy's got some support, 38008, and we're pushing to the upside right here. This could be a, a stop hunt right here, guys. Careful. Tesla is getting near the morning report. Tesla's level. buy calls coming in. Yeah, Tesla's Tesla's getting extended, but uh, again, I'm not really looking to be short bias on Tesla today. I, even if it's a valid trade, I'd probably rather buy the dip than short any rips on it. One two three, uh, one two three three six Tesla. Look at that line yesterday in pre market, post market, very very strong line. A breakout there is a legit trade with tight risk in that area. Uh, one two three three six. You have uh, already three major touches in pre and post and last night yesterday. No, Patrick. It's not that I don't want to trade it. I just don't want to trade it on the short side. Huge difference there. There's that next level, 12288 on Tesla rejecting. Um, it could break through right there, but that was the level I called out. Uh, above 12288, uh, we are looking for 336, 12336. Damn it, Baba. Uh, canceling Baba, guys. I had a live order at the gap uh, that previous day's high. It's it's projecting the gap to close now. So volatility is pushing yeah. downside. New low a day on the volatility. We are getting some green calls coming in on the board. Nvidia is looking pretty good. Tesla stretching here. Roku is recovering. Amazon above eighty three forty one is a long above eighty three forty one. Unbelievable. Tesla Mr. Morning Report level by eight cents. Neat. Good job, Lucas. And we have a very thrashy open right here, guys. They're just running it up and down. Be careful. Spy 38129 target is met. That was the uh, earlier given target. 38225 upside is the next target, guys. As long as we hold 129225 is the target. Spy calls, Tesla calls coming in right here. Any orders we put on, we're looking for 1 to 3%. As profit in and out, you're going to be in this thing for one minute to five minutes, no more. So Tesla gave the pullback on that first morning report level, the next one up. So we're done with that level is what I'm saying. Uh, so the next one up is uh, 127.70 on the short side. Again, looking for about a buck or so on that. If anyone wants an interesting uh, uh, thesis idea, so if you if you jump to the hourly candles on your ES chart, you will see uh, this long channel downtrend we're stuck in right here. Right now, we are playing inside a channel on a higher time frame, as far as I'm concerned. So I would be cognizant of the levels to the upside and the downside. This morning, we kind of redefined the bottom, and we're now in the middle of that channel. Uh, I know that's a lot to type out. Uh, but hopefully people catch that. Go out to your hourly chart, mark your channel, and, and be cognizant of where you're at in relationship to that bigger pullback. So uh, I think we tapped off the 50% retracement from the big move, which began on the 28th. Uh, you'll be able to find that hopefully with those instructions. Tesla calls coming in right here. One, two, three, three, six, getting hit again. Uh, we have a Yeah, we're at that pre-market target right there, that pre-market one, two, three, three, six. No, Benjamin, we're, we're, done, we're done with that level. Now there's two levels on the Tesla on the morning report. So, you know, you play with how you want. You can go in at level one and then get out, or you can go half size and then half size and find an average, right? It really depends on your personal profile. Ricky on the world's lattice and everything's slowing down right here very low momentum on this push 
We do have a lot of Tesla calls hitting the board right now. I'm going to throw a screenshot just uh, for your guys' awareness. And because it's slow. Throw that in the lounge. Mark B says Futu is pushing. Let's go have a look at that. I don't usually trade it, but I can take a look. Uh, 4836 target overhead on Futu. As long as that 4660 is in play, 4660 is a strong level too here on Futu. It's yeah, just pushing I'm not. Stacks. Not actioning uh, any trade on that. Just figured I'd take a look. We're just pushing the stacks of pivots here. Uh, you know, in these cases, if they're more than there's a little equilibrium line. at fifty one thirty two, but those are pre market levels and they're hard to trust sometimes. Low volume. You can play each one if you want. Closest pivot is the quarterly at fifty thirty eight. All right, Tesla <laughs> making new highs above that one two three three six. Uh, it's not holding very well as uh, support yet, so. Still a little early on that. Which, uh, for what it's worth, the quarterly pivots also happens to be a per, like a perfect 50% Fibonacci retrace on the pre-market dump. Uh, the long for me is busted anywhere below 12286 on Tesla, guys. I would re-enter, uh, me personally, I do re-attack levels. Um, that's not advice, but I'm just explaining uh, my point of view here on these support below us. Uh, it... A little bit of crowd calls, CRWD, and some spy puts. And Tesla broke that level I just discussed, guys. No more longs right there. Spy puts coming in. Meta and NVIDIA breaking to the downside of momentum right here. And a big red spy candle. Remember, we do have that 38047 support on spy. It's still intact. That's a pre market level. Break below 38047. We're going 8005, most likely on the target. And SPY breaking down below that 38047. SPY puts, SPX puts keep coming in right here. Some NVIDIA puts uh, at the money. They're 144s. Just hit the board. And there's a SPY break. A little bit of a stop hunt candle right there. We do have buyers active uh, in the 38025 area. You can see two wicks down there. And 10 minute warning. Yep. Thank you, Mike. 10 minute warning. Our morning report levels are no longer valid. And there's Tesla calls and spy calls off of that, that liquidity purge. Spy levels are good. This is time. hard to trade right here, guys. Um, these manipulative moves down into liquidity just to snap it back the other way get you hurt. So be cautious. Don't over trade. Tesla went 30 cents below my uh, support level and then snapped straight back to the upside. So there's a one, two, three, three, six level still in play on Tesla, long or short. It's a very reactive level at this moment. So we're going to keep an eye on that level. 
Mike is a breakout momentum trader. So when he talks about these levels, he's talking about uh, continuations off of these levels. One, two, three, three, six is what he said. So essentially off that level, if it's above it, he's bullish. If it's below it, he's bearish. Whereas Ricky is a reversal trader. He's waiting for an emotional push before he gets in. And the implication with him is that he'll be, you know, go, uh, counter trading that, that move. No trades on yet, guys. It's been a slow week with the end of the year. Holiday season, all of that kind of. Still expected. looking at downside momentum on QQQ and SPY based off technicals. We show up every day. That's what we do. 30 minutes. That's it. Easy, right? No trade is a trade. That's right. Get her done. Amen to that. Cash is a position. I've seen so many people get in trouble because they're like, ah, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting trades on. I got to get some trades on. They start making doubt. Tesla calls 125, 124, 123. Very active right now. Call side on Tesla. And a big push up above that one, two, three, three, six. Got a, about a dollar out of that at the moment. One, two, three, three, six. Next target above is one, two, six, five, seven, guys. Cautiously tracking these targets to the upside and downside. They are key levels which have tested and been proven before. This is the second day in a row that uh, Tesla was green on a otherwise sort of red market day. Interesting. Uh, it was the opposite in the last couple of weeks, right? Where the green mm -hmm. uh, green market would, you know, not be carrying Tesla along with it on numerous days. That's right. <clears throat> we used to say uh, back in the day that Tesla would do whatever it wanted to, regardless of the market. And uh, for a long time, it tracked with the market. And now it seems like it's disjointed again, which is kind of interesting to observe. Uh, there's SPY breaking down below that level again. Uh, 38047 is your resistance area. Once we get below it, it bounced again. Yeah, 38047 um, is, is an important zone right there. It's a Fibonacci on a higher time frame, if anyone cares. Just information for any of those who are following along today uh, inside True Trader or external to True Trader on the share. Um, we do record live all of our sessions, all of our trading sessions, and they are available for your review. If you ever wanted to go back and, and audit or, or take a look at the way we trade, the techniques, methods, entry points, they're all recorded in the database. We also a little bit. So but I would definitely put it in the 85, 90 uh, percent, at least until our boys get the carpal tunnel. Yeah, Mark V, no doubt. It's been a slow week. That's how it goes. The 
it's by Adobe. thing. One of the things that Mike likes to do in his uh, with the options group is is uh, box in the opening range. It's basically three first three minutes the uh, SPY candle, and then just observe price action off of that box. For those of you listening at home, definitely worth something to do. It's easy. It looks like Mike. Mike is having uh, internet issues. Yeah, All right, we're back. All right. Thank you. Sorry, my internet is acting weird. All right. We got a little bit of a red wave right here in the market, guys. Spy Qs, Nvidia, uh, Tesla, Amazon, Apple, Visa, Baba, all running to the downside. VIX is upside right now. Volatility pushing to high a day. Uh, 705, the UVXY is the high day right up here. So we're watching that level. Q's plummeted down, 26258, 26236 targets. But Based on that's just coming in with the market, yeah, man. It, I still think it still has relative strength. And I think the path of least resistance on Tesla is going to be the upside. I'm looking for some of those resistances if they stay there. Same with Futu. I want Futu off that monthly pivot, five minutes. Sorry, there. I'm frustrated with this. Sorry, no, I'll make sure he's on my squawk. I think I got to. Ben C, morning also. When you broke below that box on SPY, it's a good opportunity to short. So this is the opening range break uh, strat that we talk about in, uh, in the uh, knowledge base. I'll put that up on screen. You can kind of read more about it. But if you run to the knowledge base and type in, uh, I believe I'm ORB. not getting any squawk from Ricky at the moment. Let's see. I mean, he's green and I'm tuned into him. Let me know what you see, Benito. If he's if I'm talking over him, I'll shut up. I've rebooted squawk. With Tesla times. turning into what looks like could be a failed breakout over mm -hmm. yesterday's high of day. Um, it wouldn't surprise me to see us test uh, yesterday's lows at some point, which makes me think. If we're patient, we do end up getting those 114s for, for a position trade on Tesla instead of um, trying to play guessing games. I'd rather just be patient on where I get an entry on that because I think the Tesla trade is not a, a day trade. I honestly think it's, you know, put this on and have a one to three day swing trade, whether that's today or next Tuesday. Remember, guys, the market's closed on Monday, I believe. I can hear him now. I got it fixed. Which also means we will have a Monday prep instead of a Sunday prep. Got it. I don't cool. think anybody's going to be in the mood for a Sunday prep. <laughs> cool. Uh, folks, with this uh, range on Tesla right here, really good example of a good chance to pull a Fibonacci. Uh, you could pull a Fib from the low a day to high a day right here, and then use that for some context in your entries and exits. If we hold the 50 level, uh, which I have right around 122.12, uh, we're going to trade up through uh, to the double top high a day. And if we break the 50 level, uh, my targets would generally be the, the low of day area. So 
keep an eye on that. We are sitting on the 50 line on the Tesla pullback. Uh, a stock can pull back 50% and still continue higher, higher, uh, higher highs. So that's a possibility there. And UVXY right now is in a uh, slight downtrend here, 699 headed down. Ben, I just dropped the link to the ORB strat for you. So give that a read when you- And as on. mentioned before, the downtrend bias on SPY and Qs, uh, we do have those lower highs coming in, uh, retesting the bottom of the channel. I still have a 378.96 target on SPY that has not been hit. 38005 did work just fine. Uh, we are below that using it as resistance currently, 38005. We haven't quite met the 37896, which is a possibility. I don't usually anticipate major reversals before 10 o'clock, uh, just generally. Um, yeah, thanks, Benito. I appreciate the lifeline on the side, though. Um, Course. <clears throat> that? Uh, as discussed with the SPY, uh, with Tesla a moment ago, there is also a Fibonacci opportunity on the SPY right now. You can pull that level, uh, take a look at where you're at in relationship to the bigger picture. I think we're right at the 38 level here uh, on the retracement on SPY, uh, which is you know actionable. You can trade uh, usually 23s and 38s back to the double top, and deeper retracements get a little bit more dicey on continuation systems. So... Uh, but understanding that you've made a range and you're now retesting within that range, a certain percentage can be very, very helpful. If you don't like to use Fibonacci's, you can use, use the old uh, peepers, your eyeballs, and estimate kind of uh, how much of a push and pull there exists in the market. If any major move is not retraced deeply, uh, it's usually still in play, right? So if you have a big push to the upside, small retracement back, um, oftentimes you will see continuations uh, because the uh, the long leg participants are still in control. You don't need to type all that out, Lucas. Just trying to uh, provide a little extra info for folks who don't usually watch. Uh, Tesla 121 puts are getting hit right now, guys. We are getting some downside play into Tesla. So um, there's a 120.76 target on Tesla currently. <laughs> it's his last day. All right. Well, we'll build up those uh, those metatarsals and the what is it, tarsals in the feet, metacarpals in the hands. I forget. Yeah, carpals, I guess. That's all right. We'll send you out of here and, and your your finger muscles will just be shredded <laughs> for the new year. Gripping champagne glasses, just busting them left and right. <laughs> Our mod, Peter Lucas, is rounding out the end of almost... almost yeah, right now, Tesla is about the only green thing on my board. Uh, I also see LMT, Lockheed Martin, a uh, little bit green today but there is not much green on the board today. So yeah, no, nah, you'll be all right. Uh, ben C, are we ignoring the standard pivot for now? Well, yeah, I mean, we're coming up on the end of our 30 minutes, right? So, and it's been super slow. So, um, you know- Hey, last me... night I offered to just keep my trap shut and they said, no, man, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla not, still flirting with that 50 it. level. 122.12 is right my 50% retracement on the Tesla. So you can see how that level is kind of um, 
given us a consolidation, an equilibrium, if you will, kind of being found at that price for the last seven minutes. Targets above 12268, 12337. And it looks like we just crossed a whole fib zone in, in a, you know, 10 seconds right there. So This is actually a really good template. If you're learning today, you can see in the Tesla one minute chart, we had three drives to the upside, uh, reasonably deep pullback to the 50 level. And now we can observe and watch anything for a higher low to be printed. I'm sorry, a uh, lower high to be printed. If we get a lower high, uh, best place for it would be somewhere around one, two, three, three, six. Um, if we get that lower high and then a pullback, uh, this current area, the 122.12 becomes a target uh, on the downside move after the bulls are exhausted, right? So we'll we'll watch them, see what they're doing, how high they're willing to carry it, and then potentially anticipating that momentum fading at certain levels. No volume. Yeah, Mancho, I like that. I, I'm I'm watching Nvidia and AMD at the moment. I think they they look like they could go if the market could kind of reclaim some levels. Wonder if there's a way I could just do Google transcription and paste it in, because the Google um, tool works really good on my <laughs> my speech. I don't usually have too many errors. And I can get that through my Google Notes and all that good stuff. What's that program called? It's Google Docs. All right, SPY testing the bottom of that opening range right here, guys. We have our opening range. Uh, and SPY is back in here testing this uh, 38047 area. Um, so we do have a significant reversal before 10 o'clock. So uh, here we have our 10 o'clock candle. We have our fresh candle open if you're trading 15s or 30s. Just opened a 15 right here and a 30 uh, at this moment. So keep an eye on the way your candle opens. Uh, and get your directional bias. We were discussing this last week. 15's opening red right here. And I'm sure you guys could have guessed, but our tick chart is sitting very, very close to zero right here. We're only on about uh, tick 60 positive. So we've pushed into the underside of the five minute 20 on both the cues and the spy. What I'd wanna see right now, if there was any chance of having a long bias today is for a short continuation trigger on the five minute chart. And then I would like to see that fail if that happens then all eyes on NVIDIA and AMD and possibly Meta and, and obviously Tesla. Other than that, this market is completely dead, guys. I, I read what Adriano posted with the uh, volume and yeah. the lack of results in the scanners. Like it's, it's just nobody's trading today, guys. So there's really no need to, to take unnecessary trades or get hurt. All right, Jimbo, have a happy New Year's, bro. Love it. Same to Tom, if Tom's still listening. There's that 38047, 38005 uh, gap being filled again. We got that 3005. We have a 15 minute red candle and we are breaking down levels here on SPY. All right, Mark, uh, we hold news, below. Bro. I'm 
I'm getting pinged. Let's see what's going on. All right, we're past the first 30 minutes. I'm going to shut down the YouTube side of things. We will keep rolling on uh, the Zoom stream, though, uh, for a bit. Baba, 89.44. Yeah, good call, get her done. Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit. For those of you who uh, joined us today on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was really slow. It's a really boring day to stream, to be honest with you. But uh, that's how it goes. We do our thing. Uh, we make it happen for 30 minutes, and then we go home. Uh, cash is a position. Don't feel bad about it. But uh, yeah, it was a pleasure. Again, my name is Benito, True Trader Admin. I'll see you guys uh, on our next YouTube stream. Again, we'll keep rolling on. Uh, keep rolling over here on the uh, Zoom side of things. Let's see.